good evening guys welcome back to the sullivan family so it's sunday evening i can't find some of the light is i've got my i've got my light in the car as normal isabel's being weird so it's that time of the week again it's shopping time so i'm going sunday this week because ben is on nights next week so i can't go in the evenings well i could but it would be a little bit difficult although the girls could babysit but it'd still be a little bit difficult so i'll just do it tonight it's easier so we have just been to asda um kitchen roll is still at six pounds 95 hasn't gone up again so that's two weeks it stayed at six pound 95 now which is still astronomically expensive ridiculously expensive but not the kitchen roll i buy by the way i'm not buying that i'm not paying seven pound for kitchen roll but yeah it's still at six pound 95 um I don't think I haven't actually seen a massive increase on many things this week. I don't think um, I haven't needed. I still need loads of stuff, but not maybe quite as much. We did need a complete crisp top up this week because I didn't buy any crisps last week. Um, I don't think I did anyway, or not many. If I did, so we need lots of crisps this week. Um, but I haven't seen like some weeks I've been in and there's been an increase every single week um whereas this week things have kind of seemed to have stayed the same um i don't know i mean i might i might be wrong there might be things that have gone up but a lot of the things that i buy <clears throat> seem to have stayed the same sort of price this week which a lot of them are still quite expensive um but it's at least it's not gone up um I've noticed though, I don't know whether it's the same all over the country or whether it's just same, the same here, but um, the shelves are a bit bare. Uh, to be honest, ever since COVID, back in, back way when, um, we do still have quite a lot of stock problems up here. And I don't know whether that's a countrywide thing or whether it is just a Scotland thing because we're so far up um, and just getting things up here. But we still, <clears throat> we still have stock problems. I mean, at the time, it was horrendous. We couldn't get hold of things at all. But I do notice there's there's a lot of things that never came back um, that I just can't get at all anymore. Um, but most of the time, the shelves are stocked, kind of, you know, but it's not like it used to be. I quite, quite often go shopping in the evenings, and by the evenings, a lot of stuff has gone, whereas before, um, the shelves were kind of stocked all the time. It's quite empty in Asda tonight, actually. There's quite a lot of stuff missing. Um, I don't think there was... There was only a few things that I couldn't get hold of. But Tesco's are the same, to be honest. There's been things that I haven't been able to get hold of for weeks. Um, and it's been like that, really, ever since... Ever since COVID, there's just things that sometimes you just can't get hold of. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if that's a, a countrywide thing or if that's... Um, if that's just up here i'm not sure but anyway um fairly successful pretty much got everything we needed to get and no major price hikes i don't think so we are going to go over to tesco's and pick up the rest of the shopping uh and then take it all home for ben so just going to go to tesco's <laughs> Right, we're done. We've done Tesco's. I didn't actually think I needed very much stuff in there, but I think I needed more than I realised. Um, because I kept finding things that I'd forgotten to write down. So, there's things that I can't get in Tesco's that I haven't been able to get for weeks, which still haven't got in. Beans and sausage in a tin. Highly not healthy, but Elizabeth likes them. And she finds it easy to make them when she gets them from college. Um, on the day she can't bother to do anything else. I haven't had any for ages. Um, still haven't got any. What else didn't they have? They didn't have any soup. Tomato soup. Own Tesco's own tomato soup. Um, how else couldn't I get? There's quite a few things I couldn't get in there. Oh, pizza. Oh, I know what else I couldn't get in as there was Agnes's. Agnes has, Agnes has these breakfast biscuits, these chocolate breakfast biscuits um, in the free from range. And as they were out of them, during covid for apps probably for about a year and a half to be honest and they suddenly got some in the other day so i grabbed a load for her 
Um, but I didn't want to take all of them because, you know, there's other people that need them as well. So I didn't take all of them. Um, but they haven't had them in again since. So I can't, I can't get hold of them. Tesco's used to do them as well. They're like, you know, they're, um, they're, well, they're breakfast biscuits. So they're kind of half healthy chocolate kind of she likes them um can't get them can't get still can't get them uh and tesco used to do them as well but they haven't got any either so it's just annoying when there's not that many things that she'll eat and when you find things that she can eat and that she likes they go out of stock. and then they go out of stock they used to do a yogurt that she really likes so a, a free from dairy free yogurt that she liked in asda I can't remember which make they were, but they were like kids ones. Um, and I can't get them. And I've tried it with every other type of like yogurt and she doesn't like any of the other ones. She just liked those and now I can't get them. They went out of stock during COVID as well and never came back. Anyway, um, I'm taking it home now for Ben to put away. The car's full. These two are munching on chocolate buttons and um, not being very quiet about it. So I'm going to take all the shopping home now and Ben can put it all away. Hey guys, so it's Sunday and it's that time of week again. It's the big weekly grocery haul shop, whatever you want to call it. It's the Asda Tesco haul that we do every week. Uh, and again, Zoe has not disappointed she, we've literally, it's literally just taken us 15 minutes or 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes just to get everything out of the car and into the kitchen. And then Olivia's just helped me sort it all out and um, put, it, put it all on the sides as well, just to get it all out and make it look nice and neat and, and tidy for the vlog. So um, I've also, I've also got a wooden board now that covers the oven. How cool is that? It covers the hob so I can stack things up nice and neatly without trying to, you know, they're all falling into the into the burners and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, we've pulled up the stops tonight. So just to remind you, it's the weekly big shop. Uh, Zoe's literally just got back from Tesco and Asda. And again, we are just literally going to crack on. Okay, here we go then. So on the right, we have got the bold washing tablets. We've then got some upside down bin bags. Does that drive anybody nuts? That drives me nuts. There we go, that's the right way up now. Then over here, we've got the kitchen roll. I don't know if Zoe's talked about the kitchen roll again tonight. I'm not sure, I'll have to ask her. Um, I know she's been keeping an eye on kitchen roll prices, especially with like plenty, because apparently plenty is, it, it's, it's, you always need a small mortgage to buy that stuff now. So then moving down, we've got the beans top up for the week. Then we've got tuck biscuits. We've got rice crispy squares for pat lunches and things like that. We've got Noah's tea cake top up because he absolutely loves his tea cakes. Uh, we've got an Oreo top up because, as we've said quite a few times, Oreos are milk free. So perfect for Agnes. She loves her Oreos, so she has those quite often. Um, so re that's really handy, actually, to know that they are milk free. Uh, then we've got a bit of a what we've got here, cereal top ups. So we've got Asda's honey hoops. We've got some uh, crunchy nut cornflakes, cornflakes hiding behind there. Some Frosties. Uh, we've got some honey for cereals, some yogurt fruit flakes. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm going through this a bit slower because Olivia set this up for me tonight. So um, I, I, I haven't done it. I normally just dump it all on the side, but she's, um, she's set it up like it's, uh, like, it, like it's part of a window display, which is brilliant. So thank you, Olivia, for that. We've got, um, then behind them, we've got more mini Oreos, four pack lunches. Uh, we've got Go Squeezes for Agnes. Uh, that's her fruit. Uh, then moving across, we've got some vegetable stock cubes and chicken stock cubes. Um, I, I know there's a few ideas that Zoe's come up with for meals this week, and one of them is fajitas. Fajitas, which are an absolute family favourite, which we haven't had for ages. But I think because I'm on nights this week, I might have to have leftovers warmed up for the following night because I am not missing out on fajitas because fajitas are amazing. So she, so it's, that's what it's looking like this week is she's going to go for fajitas. And then that's backed up by um, the vegetables. Vegetables, yeah, vegetables. So we've got carrots, red onion, and then we've got cucumber for salad. Those two are going to be for, for fajitas. Definitely, I know that. Then, like I said, we've got the, uh, we've got cucumber for salad. Then we've got um, the fruit top up again. We've got Tesco's raspberries, um, blueberries, and then we've got banana top up. We've got the usual crisp top up and uh, Olivia said 
you have to let everybody know we've got these this week because these are my absolute favourite. So we've, Olivia has, has, has basically convinced Zoe to buy these this week for her. So we've, there's a bit of a crisp top up. And then Zoe said she bought this this week because apparently it's, it was really good value for money. A 22 pack box of uh, Walker's crisps. So she's picked that up this week as well. Uh, moving across then, we've got more fruit. We've got apples hiding away in there. We've got mandarins. We've got the usual grapes. Uh, and moving across, we've got sausage rolls. Now, I know Zoe, Zoe normally buys these when the girls are going dancing, especially when I'm on nights, just because it's an easy thing to warm up for the girls for, for after dancing. And well, they, don't, they don't really want much anyway, to be honest, after an hour and a half start, dance training and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so there's a couple of those for them for this week. Uh, then there's a curry top up. I'm guessing we're going to have curry at some point. I don't know if it's going to be this week. No, it's not going to be this week, but I, I know what Zoe's doing for this week. She's doing the bolognese because we've still got the meat, the the vegetable meat stuff, you know, the meat free mince uh, to use up for bolognese this week. So she's definitely doing that as well. Uh, then we've got a pasta sauce top up, ketchup top up. The bread, which I'll go on about every week. This is the Asda's own soft white medium slice, which is absolutely lovely. Uh, the Nando sauce. There we go for the chicken burgers. And if you haven't seen our chicken burger video, get and watch that because it's our favourite, favourite meal. Okay, uh, what else have we got here? We've got some little uh, Ella's Kitchen. Oh, strawberry yoghurt. Oh, that's cool. Oh, she hasn't really tried that yet. She's tried the little yoghurt pots. So I bet she'll love that for Florence. Yeah, I bet she'll love those. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, then her usual, this is her base food. So she's got the Heinz uh, creamy banana porridge and the Heinz multigrain cauliflower broccoli and cheese. But then we do try with different things as well. But these are her favorite kind of core, core meals, if you like. And then moving down, we've got the uh, her, her favorite apple and custard pot. She has these for snacks, like uh, in between meals. She absolutely loves these because she doesn't really have milk in the day anymore. She just refuses to have milk, so um, we kind of replaced it with these custard pots, and she absolutely loves them. Uh, it's obviously it's a bit more of a top of some fruit there. Oh yeah, that looks quite nice, the purple one. Then we at the back there, we've got the um, apple juice again for uh, Elizabeth likes that, and, and Noah likes that, and also the, Olivia does. We've got the juice top up. We've got um, cherries and berries again, with quadruple strength juice uh, that that is good it does last that stuff you know it's, it is a lot better than than it used to be because it does last and then moving back then we've got mac b um which is for the girls and then we've got summer fruit oh sparkling summer fruits this time for olivia normally she goes for the lemon and lime she's got that that this week down at the front then so just wanted to show you this we normally get wraps right but um they've mixed it up a little little bit and they've gone for the asda's own um wholemeal wraps this week because they're a little bit cheaper and the older girls like like the, the like these ones so um, they're going to get start giving these a go rather than just buying the mission wraps um yeah i might try them myself actually because they do look quite nice and then we've got the milk top up so again two two bottles of milk like that normally lasts about a day and a half um so we'll be going to the shop again for more milk other than that in fact we'll probably go to the shop a few times for milk this week um that milk and bread are the two staples obviously that we've got to keep going to the shop for and then moving back then we've got our usual brioche buns for chicken burgers also toby likes those for his um pat lunch and then we've got joseph's pan au chocolat he loves these he loves these for his breakfast and stuff so and then uh, what have we got down here so we've got the cheese the usual week's worth of cheese pepperamis because he even loves those uh, yogurt. Oh, we've got the Petit Fulus this week. They must have been cheaper this week then than the other ones. So, uh, that's, like I said in the last in the last shopping haul vlog, we do chop and change sometimes, and it's whatever's cheapest. Uh, and it looks like we've got a bit of a um, chocolate mousse top up there for for the kids' afters and stuff like that. And then tucked away, we've got more cheese strings, fruits for pat lunches. Mine and Zoe's little tipple, which is the cherry Pepsi Max. We love that stuff. And then we've got, oh yeah, don't forget the cat. So we've got the cat's crunchy and tender go cat. Mm -mm -mm. Right, down on the bottom then, what we've started doing for the kiddies is they have on Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights, they have a bit of a treat. They're allowed to have a can now. So we get a big multi-pack of cans so, and we'll keep those in the fridge um, out in, in our shed. Um, and they're allowed to get a can then on just on, just on the weekends as, as a bit of a treat. 
And then moving across, we've got these, which are an absolute favourite now. The kids absolutely love these things. Like I've said on the last couple of um, shopping hauls, they, they love these. They can't get enough of them. Uh, you know, aside from the normal meals that we do, uh, if, we're just, if we're just doing fr freezer thing, these are amazing. What else have we got in here? We've got um, sausages. We've got chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget top up. A chips top up in there. And then you've got, oh yeah, potato letters. And we've got chicken burgers in there. And then moving across, oh, it looks like it's going to be pizzas as well this week. Okay, so I didn't see those. So it looks like pizzas might be on, on the menu this week. And uh, I know what that is. That's the mix for the fajitas. So that's a sliced mixed peppers mix frozen. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got hash browns, obviously, for the chicken burgers down the bottom there. And we've got some more, some more letters. And then we've got the ice in this one for mine and Zoe's drinks. So, so that's... That's for our Pepsi Max, a bit of ice. So there you go, that's all the frozen. And then again from right to left, that's the haul. So there you go, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? So um, all done, that's the weekly shop done again. Obviously we do go to the shop during the week for the essentials like milk and bread and bits and bobs that we run out of because we do tend to run out of stuff throughout the week um, so we just tend, tend to just pick a couple of bits up now and again um, but essentially that's it um, yeah what more can I say so on that note I really hope you enjoyed the video guys um, it's another weekly shop uh, please subscribe to our channel please hit the bell for notifications don't forget our link tree in the video description below and on our channel homepage where you can get hold of our Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And that is it. So um, all I need to say now is we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.